Hey everyone, it's Joe Lyons here at The Automator, and today I'm talking again with Jean Lalonde, the author of Quick Access Pop-Up. And today we're going to go into looking at some of the commands it has, like easily navigating in your one of your dialog boxes to an already open folder, to keeping a window always on top, and to closing the computer, or even using a little snippet. Yes, there's a lot of features that are under what is called QAP feature favorite type. So a type of favorite that you can add to your menu, but it's not a favorite folder or favorite documents, it's a favorite a command that you can access and, and trigger from your menu when you need it. I'll share my screen to show you an example of that. So for example, let's say that I'm working here in my file explorer. I will go in the My Pet Project subfolder. And later on, I will work on, on Notepad. I will use Notepad just for the demo here. Let's, so yes, you mentioned the reopen uh, current folder in dialog box uh, command. So let's say I'll show you uh, how uh, it can help you. For example, in Explorer, you work in a given folder. Let's say I will go in the My Pet Project here. And then I go to uh, any software, it could be Word, Excel. I will use Notepad for this uh, demonstration. And you work, so, and then when you come, when comes the time to save your file, you will have to select the folder where you want to save this. And of course, you're never in the right folder. So Notepad is always somewhere, somewhere else. Yeah. So what you can do with the quick access pop-up menu is to select automatically. And of course, you can create a shortcut to do it in one one keystroke, if you wish. So it's, but it is currently under the My QAP Essentials, and it is this command here: reopen current folder in dialog box. You could hit Control Shift U, which I is the hotkey I'm using the most frequently with quick access pop-up. And what it will do, quick access pop-up will check in what folder you are in Explorer and will automatically open this folder inside the, the application you are using. It works well with almost all applications that use standards file dialog box like uh, we have here in Notepad. So now I'm ready to save my new file in this folder and you will see it appear year because it's the folder that I have. So it's very frequent that you work on something, then when you have to save it, you want to save it where you were just working a little before in your file explorer. And that way it, uh, it goes there automatically. automatically. Let, let me ask you two questions here. One, what if I have multiple file explorers open? It'll, it'll take the last active one. Is that correct? Yeah, it takes the, the, most, act, the most recently used window of uh, your file explorer. And then the other one, I'm just curious, because I know QAP works with other Explorer type programs like yeah. Opus and, and, and a couple it of... can do it... the same with okay. the directory Opus or with uh, Total Commander. Yeah, yeah. great. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So that's one of the commands that you can uh, use with Quick Access Pop-Up. And just to show you, if I change the folder here, I'll go inside uh, Project Charter. And if I do Save As again here, and if I hit shift Control u it will change it in a second to the folder where I, I am. So it can follow you where you are working. So that's one of the commands. It's already available in, this, in the, the My QAP Essentials subfolder here with the shortcut uh, shift control u so it's one of the commands but you can add many other commands like that and i will just show you how you can uh, add it to your menu so so i'll insert it at the top of the menu so you click add and here you see all the various type of favorites so the one we are looking for are under qap features and you see here a list in the tree view of all these QAP features. And uh, one that I can show you is under window management. It is called window always on top. It's one of the features I also use the most often. Uh, so I click add, it will be now in my menu, save. And for example, if I'm opening notepad, and uh, let's say that I want to, uh, to copy content from a web page, and I'll open a browser here. And let's say, for example, I want to copy some of the information here. So my notepad window is here. I want to copy content here. As soon as I, as I click on this window, it will hide my notepad window. But if inside the window here, I select the always on top command, here, window always on top, so from now on, even if I click in this, this window here, my notepad will, do, will stay on top. So I can, I can copy content here, paste it here, 
return here and copy some more content. So when you have to do cut and paste from one application to another application, it's very convenient to have the destination window to be always on top. And that's what you can do with this command. When you're finished, what you can do is just to select the command again, and it will turn off this uh, always on top feature. Let's see the, the little pop-up uh, window that... Uh, so it's one of the other commands. I could also show you another command that we can see. Um, and I have some of these commands already here in my menu. For example, here, the close all window command. If I select here, it will display a window with a list of all the windows open on your computer and you can select those that you want to close uh, if you don't need them. So for example, now I will just close this untitled notepad window. It will ask me if I want to save it, I won't save it, but that's a quick way to clean up your desktop and close all the windows that you don't need. Uh, there's also the close computer command here. Yeah, don't touch that one. <laughs> yeah, so close computer control center. No, I will just I'll hit cancel. But here, uh, you know, there's more than one way to, to shut down your computer. You can power it down, you can shut it down, you can restart, you can log off. So these are various, various ways to stop working on your computer, depending on what you want to do later. You could put it on sleep or hibernate it, or you could just turn off the monitor. So you select what you want to close. In some case, you have option, for example, to force the shutdown, even if something is open with unsaved data. So don't use it if you, uh, unless you really know what, what you do. For the sleep commands, you, you can say to sleep immediately. You can say that you want to disable the wake events. So it, it gives you access to a lot of more deep features in, in Windows, but making them easily available. And of course, I won't click execute because I want to complete this video with you. But that's, <laughs> that's another example. And uh, the last command I would like to show you is, uh, I know that you use a lot of snippets, Joe. So there's a command here called snippet quick add. And when you hit it, what it does, it will automatically create a snippet. So a piece of text that you can use and repeat easily in your work. It will automatically uh, take the content of your clipboard. So this is what I had in my clipboard here. It will automatically suggest a title for your menu using the beginning of what was in your clipboard. So I will... Uh, call it quick access pop-up snippet. Uh, you can then select a, an, an odd string, something that will trigger this content. And I will do it with the comma QAP. And I won't go into all the details of what you can do with snippets, but you will see now that I added this item here and I will save it. That if I go inside notepad, I can type uh, anything I want. And as soon as I type comma QAP, it will be when I press uh, enter or space, or it will be automatically uh, replaced, expanded, if you wish, with the content of my snippet. So it's an easy way when you work to add a snippet. It's one of the commands, and all these commands, again, are available inside the Add Favorite QEP Features tab, and you have all these features being available under these uh, various uh, sections of these uh, commands, the tree view. Awesome. Thank you. That was very interesting Thanks for watching that tutorial on quick access pop up. Uh, from time to time, we have discounts here at the automator. It just depends on when you watch this video. So if you go to this above link here, the automator slash QAP discount, um, you can see if there's a discount available. If not, it's still a very reasonably priced program. Go ahead and go down to shop.quickaccesspopup.com and see what the pricing is. It's a great, great tool. I highly recommend it. Cheers.